Welcome to Woodchester Mansion's Bat Exhibition Room. Uh, I am Roger Ransom, and uh, I've been privileged to be able to study bats in Woodchester Mansion since 1959. Bats are the only mammals capable of true flight. They also can echolocate using high frequency sounds which enable them to find their way about and catch flying insects. They also hibernate in the winter to conserve their energy uh, when insect availability is very low. In the mansion there are up to five species but the horseshoe bats dominate and in the middle of July there can be about a thousand of these bats present. The, the two sorts are the greater horseshoe which is about the size of a pear with its wings folded up and the lesser horseshoe which is about the size of a small plum. The greater horseshoe weighs about 20 grams which is twice the weight of a one pound coin uh, whereas the lesser horseshoe weighs five grams which is about the same weight as a 20 pence piece. Both species of bats live a long time. The greater horseshoe has been recorded up to 32 years of age and the lesser horseshoe to 20 years. In the mansion we have uh, two major roosts, maternity roosts. Uh, these are roosts where mature females gather from their winter sites up to 25 miles away. Uh, they use various local limestone mines uh, and when they arrive at the mansion they will give birth to a single baby annually sometime in late June or early July. There are bats present in the mansion right throughout the year but mostly uh, the numbers are very low in the middle of winter. My studies started here in 1959 at a time when I was a 19 year old student at Bristol University and I'd begun a ringing study actually in 1956 and since then I have ringed uh, together with other colleagues up to 13,000 individual greater horseshoe bats. As a result of my studies, uh, over 35 scientific papers and two books have been published. And most of these have used data from the Woodchester Mansion greater horseshoe bats. They are the most studied bats in the world uh, and the period of the study is the longest by a single person. To be able to see bats in their dark roosts, we must use infrared systems attached to night vision cameras, uh, just like night vision goggles. This allows us to see the bats without actually causing them any disturbance whatsoever. To enable the uh, bats to be concentrated in a place where the cameras can reach them, we fitted uh, a small incubator in each roost. This is what you can see with the mesh and the, and the wooden slats. Uh, the incubators are heated to a comfortable 27 degrees centigrade and this is perfect for the bats to raise their young and for us to be able to observe them.